Hát értem, már hát látom, hogy rajta. Oké, so hold the roll for a second. Hold the roll. You spread out. Tuck him in all tighter. Tuck him in. So big. Yeah, uh, there's, there's, a, there's many things I want to get across. Um, the, I think one of the biggest challenges is in the fact that so many people have read the book and are familiar with the story. And in that sense, there are a lot of expectations, I think, that people have seen the movie, their version of the movie that they've gotten directly from Kent Follett. They've seen, they've experienced their film in their mind. And some people read the book many times, so they know the book really well. So I think the big challenge is to not only not let them down, but actually create the world for them, the one that they expected, or maybe even kind of give them a little more. Perfect. Right away, one more. I read John, John Peel Meyer's script first when they sent it me. I, I hadn't read the book by Ken until later, and I, I, I really enjoyed Peel Meyer's adaptation. Without then, I read the book, and I thought he did a, an amazing job of distilling 1,200 pages into this very exciting project, which uh, Roller Bauer has um, managed to bring us all here to Hungary to take part in. Um, the character is really the opposite of the character of Philip, which is the, you know, the character played by Matthew McFadden. <laughs> Philip, the good monk, Whaler and the ambitious priest, is I think is how you do it. He's in a, I mean, like in any business, there are those that, those that do, which is Philip, and those that control the doing of. And Whaler and is the, um, the, 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 the church, represents the hierarchy of the church. And our patron saint Adolphus, miraculous presence watches over this holy family. But equal honor is due to a man not with us. Um, it's good fun this, well, we've only just started this when the cathedral collapses, so it's quite, um, on the page it's very exciting, but it's, <laughs> it's a slow process as it always is, but it's great, it's, um, everybody's in there, all the, most of the characters. Tom has died, but most of the characters in the, are in there, especially the Hamleys who are responsible for his death, and so everyone knows that. And then suddenly the cracks start appearing in the roof, and dust starts <laughs> dropping on people's shoulders, and then there's mayhem. But I'm yet to see how we're going to shoot it. So that'll, that'll sort of reveal itself as we go on in the afternoon. We were shooting in here, and Sergio is, I mean, he's worked with Steven Spielberg quite a lot, and a lot of you know, Schindler's List, and um, a lot of films he's done as, as his assistant. And so, um, you know, Sergio knows what he's, he knows, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's risen up through the ranks, as it were, and he's such a sweet and humble individual, but um, he's got so much going on around him. And, but he's, when, when it comes to one-on-one -on -one and talking to actors and, he has, he, as everybody will say, he, he has some wonderful things to say, nuances and tweaking it and, and if you do it a certain way and he'll say, okay, great, but, you know, do some, you know, try something else or try it like this and try it completely, completely different to the way you were going. I think what's hard is um, she goes through so much that there was a period of filming where I'd walk, it, I'd come in on set every day, and it was another hardship, something else. It was like a black eye, or a, a scar, or a cut, or a graze, or just pale, or, or completely dirty, and looked like she had, and she was starving and had been um, travelling for days on end without sleeping and. And that, there's a lot of that that she goes through. And it's the kind of getting the head around, okay, which, what state is she in? Because she just goes through so much that, you know, one day she's a noble woman, the next day she is effectively out on the streets. And 
is starving and then she um you know she's a victim of horrible abuse and and then she triumphs again and then she gets sets on fire so it's like having to um remember which which you know which day in the story that we're actually filming because obviously like all films it's all shot out of sequence so it's kind of trying to keep up with where she is um in the plot i mean there's the 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 tough part of this job, I find, certainly working in, in, on screen, is uh, the fact that all this stuff you kind of prepare in a, in a vacuum, really. There's just you in your room on your own, really. It's not like in the theatre where you have sort of four or five weeks of rehearsal and kind of playing with the other people and getting to work it all out and things like that. So, um, so a lot of it's kind of done in quiet contemplation in your own mind. And then when you actually get onto set, you very quickly have to figure out whether what you have in your head is going to match with what the other actors have and then you kind of play and find the sort of middle ground and balance and how the best way to do it is and you have to do it very very quickly and instinctively <laughs> <laughs> William Hamley is a monster, a tyrant and uh, one who, someone who persecutes all the people around him. Whether it's his own fault, whether it's because of the way he was brought up or whether it's his uh, just simple animal nature is I guess left up to the audience. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty vile human being. Um, uh, like for, for example, uh, first day filming, I turn up on set, I am told to get on my horse, I get on my horse. I'm told by Sergio then to ride over to Tom the Builder, hit him over the head with my sword, get off the horse, hit Eddie in the chest, stab Rufus, who plays Tom the Builder, through the chest, killing him, um, then getting back on the horse, riding off and setting fire to Haley, who plays Aliena, and that's my first day, so he's pretty vile. Yeah. <coughs> See you, Mark. Mark. Yeah. Yeah. And action! Make way for our fish stop. <laughs> 